going on everyone? Thanks for joining me here again today. In the last couple of videos, I've been discussing how I'm gonna be bringing a few changes to the channel. So I figured I would take today to explain that. First off, I'm Josh and I like riding motorcycles. But when I'm not riding motorcycles, I like working on cars and that's something that I'd like to be incorporating in the channel. I also really enjoy working on older motorcycles. I picked up a 1971 Honda CB500 recently and over the winter time, I plan on kind of filming the restoration process behind bringing it back to life. I really enjoy working on older things, whether it's motorcycles, cars, or trucks. I think the history behind them is absolutely amazing. The technology that they had at the time, the style and the design that they incorporated, and just the memories that people share with older stuff. It's always awesome to go to a car show or an event that features older vehicles and sitting around and hearing all of the stories and memories that people have with a certain vehicle, whether it be their first car or maybe a vehicle that their parents had growing up, a motorcycle that they rebelled against society with. I've turned my hobby of working on cars into my full-time job. So I typically don't try to do it as much on the weekends, but riding motorcycles, working on motorcycles and working on cars are definitely some of the things that I really enjoy on the weekends. I don't typically film much of the work that I do on the weekends, not because I don't find it interesting, but because I don't have a whole lot of camera experience when it comes to recording myself in front of the camera or even behind the camera. I find it pretty easy to talk to it while I'm riding because it's almost as if you're just talking to yourself. When I'm sitting in front of the camera, it's just a little bit different. And I hope as time goes on that I get a little bit more comfortable with it. I don't plan on turning the channel into a how-to. I'm sure there's plenty of other channels out there that can give a pretty well put together step-by-step -step process of how to fix something, how to maintain it, or how to restore it. And I actually do follow a couple of those channels, Classic Octane being one of them. Taylor does a fantastic job explaining how he restores motorcycles, whether they're Hondas, Kawasaki's, Triumphs. He's done them all on his channel, and if that's one that you're not subscribed to, I definitely, would, definitely recommend checking him out. I will, however, be trying to capture as much footage as, pro footage as possible and essentially show you guys the kind of work that I enjoy doing on the weekends. Um, so the focus of the channel will be more diverse content over time, not only rides with the XSR 700, but also working on older motorcycles, working on older cars, traveling to new destinations here in Virginia, and just exploring the limits of this new hobby that I've started. I hope you guys have enjoyed the videos so far. I'll continue to shout out and support fellow moto vloggers. I always recommend checking them out. That's something that I will continue to try and convey in almost all my videos being a good rider, practicing safe habits, being respectful of others, and going above and beyond to helping out other people in the world. I think it's very important that we set a good example for others because it not only impacts the way that people view us as motorcyclists, but the way that they view every motorcyclist on the road. It's a fun hobby for me, and I'm sure that it's a fun hobby for most others as well. Whether it's your daily commute, your weekend rides, your road trips, your camping trips, the way that we're perceived as riders impacts us as a community. I'm gonna go ahead and end this one here. I'm sure I've already made quite a few flubs. I've probably repeated myself plenty of times. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be sure to check out the link below to all the other motor vloggers that I look up to and gain inspiration from. If you haven't checked out Ryzen, the guys that I feature their music in most of my videos. Give them a follow, check out their music. They're an up and coming group in Canada. I'm gonna continue to mess up what I'm trying to say here. So until next time guys, be safe, be a good apple, and I'll catch you on the next one.